Hey, what's up guys? Christian over at Fit Car Stereo. Uh, today we're in a 2008 Mercedes SL and we're doing a radio installation, uh, keeping the factory amplifier and all the factory goodies. So uh, I figured I'd take time and show you all the connections required when you use our uh, 2005 to 2008 Mercedes SL radio wiring harness. All right guys, so this is the harness that goes to the back of your radio. Um, it's basically a, it's browned in power, and this is a data wire not used with, by an aftermarket radio, and then your fiber optics. Um, all the guts for your radio are actually um, behind the seat. So what we're gonna do right now is we are going to take this apart and wire it into our harness. So first thing you're gonna do is if you look to the side of the fiber optic connector, there is a locking tab. You just push it back a little flathead screwdriver, like, like so. All right, and make sure you got that on film. And then you just pulls right out. Come on. There you go. Pulls right out. And we're going to do the same thing with the power connector. Okay. So we're going to, there's a little locking tab on the side. You're going to pull that out and slide this back out. Okay. Now we don't have the female version of this connector. We could probably get it. But to be honest with you, the problem is that we, um, this is such a low volume harness. There's not too many of you guys swapping out radios. So we just use a, a different harness and we hand build it. All right. So, for the power harness, we're gonna send you this female connector, and then inside of it's gonna be this blue connector. So this blue connector is actually made for a newer style Mercedes, or a different Mercedes, not newer, because the same years use it. So we're gonna do this, you see how there's an arrow here? You see that arrow? You should be able to see that arrow, all right? So that's gonna slide arrow in first into here. Now when you connect that, that's gonna be able to connect into here, and boom, your power connections are done. Now as far as the fiber, you're gonna get a fiber optic box in a separate bag. We, sh oh, I think so. If it's gonna be separate or connected, this is the fiber optic box, all right? So there's gonna be a little connector in here. You take that out. Now, if you look over here, there's only one way it can go. If you try to put it in backwards, it's not gonna fit, so don't worry about it. Boom, and then that goes in there, all right? Now this connector over here is part of the harness. Um, this goes into here. Boom. All right, the RCAs go into your radio. They always use the front because if you use the rear, sometimes the phone call audio doesn't go through. And then this little thread pin connector goes into the three pin connector in the main harness. Let me uh, let me zoom out and fix some uh, some uh, zoom issues real quick. No, let me switch to auto zoom. It makes life easier. All right, so this is the main harness. This is our box. Uh, Steering control wire goes in here, you plug that in, you set the disc switches for your radio, very important. Unplug this for 10 seconds and then replug it to reprogram the box for the dip switch settings you just did. All right, um, as far as here, you're gonna have these loose wires. Oops. All right, you're gonna have parking brake. Uh, pink and purple is reverse. Oh, look at that, that's supposed to be purple white. How's that purple? I never noticed that before. That's supposed to be purple white, but it's. Oh, it looks like they use purple black. Anyway, that's supposed to be purple white, but it looks like it's purple black, and this is pink. Um, these loose wires. Uh, you got parking brake. You got uh, purple is the uh, reverse. This is this is only to tell the radio going reverse. Don't power a camera from this. We have a special adapter to power a camera. And then pink is the uh, vehicle speed sense. Uh, some radios need that. It tells the radio how fast you're going, okay? Now, in here, on the radio side, we have the power underground, which is connected, all right? And then we also have these twisted wires, which are CAN bus. Um, this goes to a CAN bus connector uh, on the left side by the door, so I'll show you that in a little bit. And then uh, what this does is that this reads the data from the car and then translates to the steering controls and it also translates the, the loose wires over here, the parking brake, vehicle speed sense, and uh, reverse wires. Yellow is constant and ground, black is ground. Those come from that connector. And then the red wire tells the radio to turn on and off, and the orange wire tells the radio to dim when you turn on the headlights, all right? So that's all the connections behind the radio. And uh, oh, also, this is a ISO connector. We have a plug and play connector that connects into this. And then, for example, in this car, we're doing a Sony radio. So this will connect into the Sony radio. All right. Let me uh, 
take apart the side of the car and I'll show you where to connect these two, these uh, twisted pair next. All right guys, for the next part of this install, the, you gotta take off that side panel. There's one screw holding them in and then just pry up the carpet and under the carpet there's gonna be a black cover. Pull up the cover and then you see all of the factory wiring harness. Now, this is the first, this is the canvas connector over here, all right? So on most of them, there's one empty one. Uh, on sometimes, um, they're not, em they're full. I've heard, I've never seen it, but I've sold to shops that told me they've been full. So if it is full, what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, tap into the wires, but for the most part, um, you're going to pop it into the empty one. Let me put this back in and show you how to take this out. All right, let's see how well we can record this. <clears throat> so you can grab a long flat head screwdriver. You gotta push the green one out of the way. So you're gonna push it. Oh, let's see if we can, see if we can push that a little. All right, so that goes out of the way. Now you're gonna go back here and you're gonna watch out with the fires, don't pinch any wires. And you're gonna push this one up. Oh, looks like it came out easy. It came out easy, so I'm not, but you're gonna do the same thing with this one. And now this is the one we want, and now we're gonna play with this one. All right, now that you have it out, see the two little mounting slides? See this is how it's slid in? So, uh, next part is to remove the locking tab. So, this is a little security plastic that keeps them from sliding out. So, they pop in, and then this keeps them from sliding out, but it also keeps it from sliding in. So you can grab a little flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna go in here. And you're gonna pry it open a little bit. And then you're gonna twist it the other way. Now there's fiber in there. I mean fiber. There's canvas wires. Try not to cross them. I mean it's not nothing happens if you cross them, but obviously you don't want to try it. So see the bottom? Now that you're like that you can insert the connector. It only goes in one way. All right, there you go. And now you just put the uh, security tab back on to lock it in place. And then you just, well, there you go, there you go. Now put everything back in and just reassemble the way we just took it apart. All right, here we are in the back seat. Like I told you, that's where the radio brain is. So right now we're gonna go in there and we're going to, that's where your AM FM is. And we're gonna just run a cable from there all the way to the radio up front. And then everything else stays the same. Stays the same. We're gonna take out that light and replace it with a aftermarket uh, backup camera. In this car, if you look, there's nowhere to put a camera. You can try to put it in here, but the back of this isn't nice. So it never comes out right. So that uh, factory stock camera is the only way to go. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. The Mercedes emblem. How people do it. Bling bling. Look how nice that eye is. You can always tell how good a camera is by the eye. The cheap ones just look cheap. You can tell it's a good uh, quality lens. And fit car stereo. B-U-C-S-L. All right, so we have this beautiful front camera mounted to the front. Um, I could have done it there. I could have done it to the bottom of the license plate grill. I think there it's a little more hidden, so I chose there. I'm also going to stick it with uh, uh, tape, molding tape. Um, I chose not to drill only because the, the bumper's in good shape, so I don't want to put two holes in there. I just don't. So, anyway. Also, if you look at the camera, see how it has a... Uh, you can actually move it. So, after it's installed, you can do my, minor adjustments as well. I like this thing. That's why I use it for the front cameras. And we're also 3D printing a custom um, mic holder. It goes in that grill in the middle of the dashboard and it holds the microphone. Factory location is up by the lights and that's just a nightmare to get to and take apart a bunch of parts. And to be honest, I think it probably is going to sound better in the, in the, in the grill too. All right, so make a quick video about this. So this is the center console piece. Uh, this is the part that goes in front of you. Um, we made a microphone for this. Uh, apparently, this is a little different than the last one we did. The last one we did was actually, I think, a 13. So, the piece fits in here, but I'm going to see if I can redesign it. So, the one you guys, by the time you guys order, it'll be different, but for now, we're going to use this one. All right, so this is a Sony microphone. This is a microphone that comes with the Sony radio. Um, for Sony's, we recommend the microphone that it comes with. 
Android radios, ours work good, works good. Um, Kenwood, ours works good. The Android radios, ours works good. Alpine, we recommend the one that comes with the radio, and then Pioneer, ours works good. You know, our microphone's universal, so it works with most radios, but there's some radios that it works better with. With Sony, our mic works, but the Sony microphone that comes with the radio, it sounds better because it's more compatible with that radio, you know? All right, so what you do here is you squeeze the Sony microphone, squeeze the edges. See, I don't know if you see it pop, Oop. the head just went flying. Okay, so when the head goes flying, now you can just push this out like so. Bottom. Now, if you want to, you can cut this off. I kind of recommend you leave it because when I cut them, I used to cut them off and then maybe one out of every 10, I used to cut the wire by mistake. So the microphone holder is made to hold the microphone. And then this goes down like that. All right. Now, um, we cover up the microphone with a little piece of tape. All right, the reason we cover up with tape is because people have complained in the past that they can see the microphone. So this keeps you from seeing it through the grill. Not just this microphone, all cars. That's a lot little piece of tape covers it up. Now for this thing, we're gonna put it closer to you. All right, so this is over here. And then as close as possible. Now we're just going to slide it in right there. Slide it in right. Just have this in there. Alright, like so. Alright, that's going to go like that. Now we're going to put a piece of duct tape to hold it in. Um, the previous one we did, the side piece over here went in a little bit. So we did, we did a, a notch. And then we did a notch, and then what we did, we recommended you put a dab of glue on it. But because this one doesn't go down like the old one does, you can't do that. So like the other one used to go in kind of like this. You see the notch? So the notch used to be in here, and I used to hold it in place, but that doesn't work anymore. Like I said, the uh, this was designed around the uh, 09. I mean, yeah, 2009, 2012, one of those. Same body size, different radio, so they change a couple things. Um, but that's it. That's how it goes. And then on the front, you're gonna you don't see anything. All right. Sound quality is very good, especially since it's right in your face. Right. Where is it? There. This is actually the old one. The customer had some work done on the car, and they dented up there. It is. They dented up the front. So uh, this is the used one. Hopefully, I'm gonna see if I can borrow it, and we can uh, design the new mic holder for it. All right, that's it.